Okay, so for number six, when I look at this, they all have the same base. So what I'm going to do is um, simplify the exponents because the bases will stay the same. So this would be rewritten as 24 to the negative 3 times 24 to the 7. And this is the first step I need to take. 24, negative 3 times 4 would give us negative 12 times 24 to the 9th. Now, kind of a simple shortcut, but I'm going to just pull the exponents since I know that the base is going to stay 24, and I'm going to work with just the exponents. So I have negative 3 plus 7 minus 12 plus 9 because when the base is the same and I no longer have a parenthesis where I'm multiplying, I'm just adding the exponents together. So we work from left to right. Negative 3 plus 7 would be 4, minus 12 plus 9. Here, and let me do a little line here to show. This is just the exponents. We'll get the base back in there at the end. 4 minus 12 would give us negative 8, plus 9 would give us 1. So the exponent we're left with at the end of all this is 1. That means that the answer is 24 to the first power, which can be written as just 24. Uh, the other problem I was asked to work on was number 7. Again, I'm doing this from... The original 8th grade packet, I should have shown this at the beginning of the video. This is the original 8th grade packet the district sent out around spring break time. And these are problems on page 6, number 6, and number 7. So I have a parenthesis here with an exponent outside. So this is a power to a power, and I'm going to multiply it. Negative 4 times negative 3 is going to give us a positive 12. So 7 to the 12 times the base of 3 and negative 8 times negative 4 is going to give us a positive number and that's going to be a positive 32. Oops, a little paper on the side over here I just almost lost. So that's going to be 3 to the 32. The denominator, negative 4 times negative 2 and the exponent is going to be positive 8 times 3 to the 8th. And then I'm going to take the ones in the denominator with the same base and the numerator, and I'm going to rewrite this as 7 to the 12th minus 8. Same base, I subtract the one that's in the denominator, times 3, 32 minus 8. And I get 7 to the 4th times 3 to the 24th. And that's as far as we have to simplify. So there are our answers, and hopefully that clarifies.